Good day, valued humans. This is Starscream from the Green Reapers, and today we'll be doing a review of the VKB Mark IV rudder pedals. Since the box did show some damage from the mail, I figured that we'd show you the quality of packaging that actually goes into the box, along with what you get inside. I'm also going to take this moment to talk about where do these pedals fit into the market, like who's looking for these pedals. These retail for 215 US dollars and about 201 euros. So they're just over what a normal entry level all plastic pedal would be. These are actually all metal. They're really well constructed. And you get all the pieces that come with them. So these are geared for somebody who is looking for some high end pedals but necessarily doesn't want to spend the five or six hundred dollars that some of the competitors are looking for in their MSRP. Uh, these pedals are extremely heavy. You can see when I was trying to take them out of the box here, um, there's a lot of weight to them, which is really good. It lets you know that it's made really, really well. And that's because they're made of all steel construction, except for the aluminum heel pads. The pedals themselves come shipped loose to avoid damage. All you need to do is connect the connecting rod to the bolt that's in the cam. Remove the nut that's on top of the bolt, take the connector, slide it on top of the bolt, and replace the nut. Hand tighten it first, and then use the wrench that is given to you inside the packaging. You're going to repeat this for both sides, and then you're going to be complete with the physical assembly of the pedals themselves. It should be noted that they come with two types of spring tension. By default, they are on the lightest setting, but they can be changed to a heavier setting, and VKB has a video on how to do this on their YouTube channel. You can adjust the heel pads with these two bolts right here, and it does come with six anti-slip pads on the bottom. Connecting the pedals to your computer is simple with two cords, an Ethernet cable, which goes from the pedals, plug right in here in the top, and then plugged right into what they call the black box where it says pedals and then we connect the USB cord to where it says USB. There is additional software that is available but it is not required and I will not be reviewing it here. So let's fire up DCS and do some flying to actually see how these actually work. Now nothing is more difficult to fly in DCS than the hip. So let's do the hip Let's do some uh, free flight here and see what we're doing. Now, the thing that you want to watch is the horizontal red line that is at the bottom of the box in the upper left-hand corner because that's going to give you an idea of how much uh, rudder input that I'm putting in as we're doing this. And as you can see, the touch of the pedals is extremely light, which them being so light means you don't have to put much effort into moving left or right. Your adjustments are a lot quicker um, than with... Uh, regular introductory level pedals. Again, these retail for 215 US dollars. Um, you're going to be probably paying at least $100, $150 for introductory level for an extra 50, 60 bucks. Look at this control. Um, he, this is after not having flown any helicopters for about three months. I've had the pedals for about six months. So I got a lot of use out of them in the first three. Um, and then life took over and really haven't been in here, but after not touching a helicopter, much less the hip for over three months, you can see extremely easy to make the helicopter do whatever I want. Slow rotations, keeping center line, bubble, even hovers. Now what would be a hip video without a hip landing? Again, great control. Um, I mentioned before in review that you can go ahead and make the spring tension tighter so the pedals feel heavier. Uh, I don't know why you'd want to do that. I actually prefer them really light like this. The response time becomes uh, much quicker the moment I begin to feel the nose of the helicopter as I'm moving the, the collective in and out and getting more torque uh, in and out to the left and right. Um, I'm able to actually make those corrections a lot quicker. Now, with the pedals all metal construction, they're very heavy, and they do have those six anti-skid pads on the bottom. My pedals happen to be on carpet, so I really don't have to worry about them moving. I can imagine if you had hardwood floors between the six anti-skid pads and the light touch of the pedals themselves, probably shouldn't have any problem with them moving around, and I think actually having to secure them to something wouldn't be required. Now let's try a real challenge. 
and what would be the Grim Reapers if we weren't up for a challenge? And there's no greater challenge than landing on a moving target. Now, of course, we have this LSA carrier to our right, this helicarrier, uh, but that's too big. So we are going to look for a real challenge, like uh, something that would be smaller. Oh, look! A Perry class destroyer. And while I watch this, I'm going to give my final thoughts on the VKB rudder pedals. Having had them for many months now and using them for a variety of airframes, uh, they have improved my play quite dramatically. They were quite a step up from the plastic thrust master pedals that I used to have uh, to be able to feel more of where the center line was and if I was to the left or the right. Uh, the, the response time was a lot more. It, overall, um, just it's one of those things that when you don't have it, you don't realize how much you're actually missing until you get a high quality product and then you actually have it and you're like, wow, how did I ever not play DCS with this and not have this amount of control and not really know really what I'm doing. So uh, highly recommend these, uh, especially for the price point of what they are. Um, and there we go. It should be noted that BKB didn't ask for any favorable reviews, but we definitely like their product. So see you all later.